Here is the thing. How do we solve the knife crime epidemic? And we wouldn't use that word loosely. That is what we're dealing with here. Same headline, same story, same form, same age of victim, same cause of death. Two more teens stabbed in London on Saturday. The names of Ken Solenki and Charlie Bartolo are just two of the dozens who've met their fate in the same way. Street crime, knife crime. Kids who think they're part of the Bloods or the Crips, whatever, this is their way of life, this is the script, they live by the sword, they die by the sword, but for what? Even when you look at some of the most notorious gangs that we've known globally, there were even rules within the Brotherhood. These kids don't have any of those. A row online, an insulting Snapchat video, not showing respect invariably from the last people who should command any kind of respect, but all of these things are enough for someone to end your life. I mean, let that just hang there for a few moments. You took the mick out of somebody on social media, so I'm going to end your life. Bad enough to want to give somebody a kicking because they insulted your trainers, but to plunge a dagger into somebody's heart for it is a whole other level. But we're kind of used to this, but where the hell did these people learn this? Your default position when somebody has upset you is to kill them. He's upset me, I'm going to kill them. How did we get there? What is the thinking? What's the template? What is the root of all of that? I'll tell you something, and often in broad daylight as well. I mean, this happened at what, 10 past five in the afternoon or something. And we look at the numbers, and there have been many, 119 homicides in the last reporting year and counting. If this was young women, being killed at this rate, there would be an industrial scale fallout and an inquiry. We would not stop talking about this. Politicians would be climbing over each other to make their points known. The police would set up a special unit dedicated to this curious scenario, this uh, unfathomable moment in our anthropological journey where women are being killed by the dozens. On a weekly basis, we have these deaths. But it's not women, it's young teenage boys. They don't seem to matter to the powers that be in the same kind of way. And I've ne we've discussed this I don't know how many times. We'll talk to Norman Brennan, our friend and former police officer, shortly. Uh, he will shine light on this. He's been campaigning for decades on this. Nothing changes, nothing's got any better. No great resolutions. The mayor of London, by the way, is in charge of policing. Where is he? Where is Sadiq Khan? He's got more to say about the possibility of you caught driving a diesel car on the wrong road than he does if you're caught carrying a foot-long blade in your hand. This is seismic. This is up there with any crisis. Where is Sadiq Khan? What does he have to say and why does he have to say more on fining motorists than he does over dead kids? Quite literally, you couldn't have got him out the traps any faster last week when he announced the Euler zone is being extended. Oh, yes, if you're driving the wrong car over there in Bromley, we're going to whack you with a £12.50 fine. On a daily basis, you'll have to pay 12 It's going to cost very big on that. Two 16-year-olds. Think about the age, man. 16 years of age. Dead in the street. Life hasn't even begun. Slaughtered, taken down at 5 o'clock on a Saturday afternoon by a knife. Gone. Finished. Two more stats to a growing grim list of fatal statistics that sadly every time we come on and talk about this, that list gets bigger. Donovan Allen, Tyler Hurley. The list goes on. Jeremiah Sewell, Deshaun Tuit, Shea Gordon, Kane Moses. I mean, I could go on. There are dozens and dozens. And that's just this year. What the hell has gone wrong? Where is the Mayor of London? Where are the government on this? Where's the Home Office? Where's the mass inquiry? Where's the big fallout to this? Kids dying, slaughtered in the street. And we're not talking about cases here of children whose lives ended after a prolonged argument. There'd been fights, there'd been fisticuffs, there'd been battles, they tried to solve the dispute. No, 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 there's none of that. This is the default position. The kid in that postcode insulted the kid in that postcode. Therefore, I'm going to take a machete and I'm going to kill him. Who taught these children that? Where does that come from? 
And I'm bound to throw in a fairly root one question here. Until we're blue in the face, we will keep asking, how do we solve the knife crime epidemic? What is the... At least, what's the beginning of that process? Well, we could at least sit here and go, OK, we haven't fully... But this is what we do to begin with. We can talk about feckless parents. We can talk about fatherless homes. And I'm sure all of those things are a factor. We can talk about the fact that some of these kids, often young black boys, have been educated to believe that life as a young black boy is going to be rubbish, that the entire system is against you. We have sensible people, the good and... Well, not so sensible as it turns out. The good and the great politicians telling kids that, educating those kids before they're even out of short trousers. They've learned to believe that their life is going to be rubbish. Uh, why do they think this? Because some politicians told them. Because social media is full of it. Because the left-wing intelligentsia are telling them that on a daily basis. That doesn't help either. But ultimately, there's much more to this. It's gang-related, for sure. The idea that you don't get to your 20th birthday. These boys never got to their 18th. Taken down at five in the afternoon in the capital city in 2022. And it should be shocking. Do you know what? It's not even that shocking anymore, is it? Because you go, oh, it's just another two street kids. Just another two just happened again. And again, there were some more last week and the week before there were others and the week before that there were others. In these grim statistics, there are some women, but it's mostly men in the homicide rate. It's mostly young boys. And we're talking about young teens here. 0344 499 1000, the youngest victim being 14. Throughout the country, of course, we've seen other cases where uh, children even younger have been slaughtered on our streets. Oh.